Okay, hello everyone. This video is going to be pretty much a video on two basic concepts. Uh, transitioning business applications from monolithic architectures to microservice architectures. And this is the refactoring process. I'm basically going to go over a specific book which is called Microservices Patterns by Chris Richardson. This is more of a book review, I have to admit. But uh, you know, I go more before, before I go into this, I wanted to uh, kind of have a theme of a strangler pattern because it's basically the most common techniques to do this. In fact, the only one that I so far have oh, yeah, done myself is to use the strangler pattern. There's different ways to do it. What the, this book goes into quite literally a step-by-step -step process and evolution from beginning chapters, you know, and this is pretty much the chapter rollout of the book, from how you decompose applications, the architecture, how you do the data management, and as you process through the whole, uh, 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 you know, the whole application and the transitioning process from, because a very detailed example of an uh, application, it's pretty complex. Uh, but it's actually t understandable, workable, explained really well in the book, and it gives you a good foundation on how to do it. There's other techniques, but this is a good starting point for those that do it. But before you do this, I have to understand a little bit of stuff about the strangler pattern. Uh, you know, the strangler pattern, basically, uh, here's a good definition of it to start off with. I got it from this site. Uh, right here, I'm putting that up from the site, enlarged it, and I'm not going to read it off to you, so you can pause it and read it to yourself, and we're that should be enough time for you to do that. Uh, but basically, this this site goes into a series of steps itself on how to do it. Now these are all good valid steps, but I think the book kind of likes really takes these steps and kind of expands on them and actually makes it more clear to understand in the architecture now one of the things about the the strangler pattern it basically uses a facade a kind of like a router mechanism you know uh, to differentiate between the monolithic application and the microservices application design. And it's like routing, okay, you know, base applications going here and uh, once you converted something and moved it over to the modernized component of it, now we gotta move it over, you know, move those components to the other side. It's pretty simple. <coughs> and this is still at the, at the applications design you know, so the developers are pretty much going to think that they're pretty much going to be doing all this themselves. But, you know, you know, if you you know put it in the hands of just all your developers, although they can do this, but they're going to be kind of overwhelmed. And the idea here is to try to abstract this facade out. The best way to do so is use the service mesh, which is one of the common ways of uh, doing working with microservices in itself because it offers a lot of components keep kept you know there's a lot of uh items that it has within the uh, a service mesh that allows you to do this and it will basically act as the facade as the router directing what you need to do this and then you just abstracted that component from the application itself <coughs> which is of great help in a, to implementing this in your part. part. Now, to go more further in detail on how to use the Strangler application. Now, Strangler uh, patterns basically derive from this uh, fig tree right here. So it's called the Avantra uh, Fuller has a Strangler fig application. You know, and it's basically, you know, it's basically the application, you know, this, the, the, this, these things go over the tree, eventually killing it, which is kind of like the idea of a 
a monolithic to uh, microservice architecture, you eventually want to kill the monolithic, get rid of it, and because you're replacing it with these new modernized services. And going through all this article, this is from martinfaller.com, and he has good, some good case studies that you can go further and study. Now, now going back to the refactoring methodology of the book. Now the book goes into detail. I mean, I'm only doing the high level. I mean, basically, uh, the core concepts are pretty simple. I mean, right here, you can see in the book, I mean, you know, they go into the decomposition process, how you figure out how to decompose the application into a microservice, do a little planning, you know, data management is actually key. You know, uh, he, he takes his example application, which is pretty much like a restaurant. It's kind of like a DoorDash kind of thing. You know, you order some food and or from a restaurant and you get it delivered. Uh, has a, several services and he takes those services and he evolves it through the book and to at the end it's completely transitioned into a microservices architecture so you know so essentially he's implementing a strangler you know during this type you know entire process without actually saying he's doing a strangler so so uh, that's kind of like the hope point but let's just go watch this simplest simple steps first rule you split the code now if you're doing good design application design you got good developers and they are following best practices they sh this should be pretty much mostly done or you know pretty much done but that's to be the first step the second step would be you split the database now again there's many different uh, data management techniques with the microservices strategies. And then from your decomposition, you define your services that you want to start with. And then you, you know, implement them, use them, and, uh, and eventually you remove them the func uh, functionality to the monolithic. So here's your applications. So here, simplifies, but the code. Monolithic, monolithic, same database, same database, and you just do an order management, delivery management within the same systems. Splitting a database. There's different techniques to do this, but up in the diagram, each service will have its own database. On the right, you know, ideal circumstances is good, but there's again there's different strategies doing this uh, mentioned in the book further uh, and right here now you have your full uh, delivery service now this is where you would have an actual service mesh or facade router application but let's just try to do the service mesh, mesh because it's a way better easier to implement and you don't have to uh, you can just have you just have your developers concentrate on separating the code in the database not working on uh, internal internal structures on how it's, the application is going to be routing from A to B to C that's all abstracted out by the service mesh uh, and here, this is pretty much, you know, the API gateway. You could say it's kind of like the service mesh or the router class or something to that effect. And here's a shared database. So here are the monolithic application and here's the uh, delivery service They're sharing the same database. And then the next step would be you uh, remove the delivery management functionality from the monolithic. So here, here's the monolithic and here's the delivery service is completely isolated and then obviously again data management and going through all those messaging components that, you, that are further defined in the book so there's some form of uh, 
who data integration between the data going on. And that's basically simple. I mean, it's basically those processes. There's a lot of planning that goes on, and there's a lot of steps that can kind of you can kind of go on uh, a little bit further. But basically, that's the video.